welcome to this week's furniture flip. So this week I am going to be cleaning these gorgeous linen chairs that I actually got for free from my boyfriends and uncle. They were so kind enough to give me these chairs. Um, so I have done some research and I have a couple possible solutions to getting stains out of these chairs. Um, given that they are linen, they are a little bit harder to clean, but we are going to go through as many of these solutions as we can to figure out which one is best. And two things that I did learn from doing research is to always use a light colored cloth and then also to never rub and just dab. Before I do anything, I am going to take my Bissell machine and just vacuum. I'm not using any water or solution with this. I am just going to go through and vacuum it all. <laughs> I want to mention if you do have a linen chair something that is recommended is to vacuum it pretty regularly just so that you are preventing stains. Okay, so the first solution that I'm going to be testing out is just water. So I'm going to take some lukewarm water and this light colored cloth and just dab in and try to see if that helps with the stains. And I'm not very hopeful for this one but I really just wanted to test it out. Okay so I have a bowl of water and I am just going to test on the back of the chair before I do anything. So I'm going to be taking my hair dryer and using low heat and just dry it quickly so that I can see if I've left any stains on this. So as you can see, it didn't really leave another mark or a stain on there, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the front. There's a pretty big stain on the front, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and use my water to try to dab it out. It's not looking like that's going to take it out. So I tried to do another spot and I honestly, I think that I'm going to abandon this method because I don't think it's going to work. Okay, so for the next method, I am going to be using equal parts water and white vinegar. I definitely think that it helped a lot more than the water did, but the spot is still there, so I'm gonna keep trying different methods. Another method that I am going to try is baking soda. So it says to apply a thin layer of baking soda on the stain and leave it for 15 to 20 minutes, and then take your vacuum and just vacuum it up. So I'm gonna do that right now. So as you can see, there's a stain right here. So I am just going to apply some baking soda there. So it's been about 20 minutes, so I'm going to take my Bissell vacuum and vacuum all of this baking powder up. Okay, so I don't think it really worked that well. I can still see some stains right here and right here, so I'm gonna have to try another method. So I had to go somewhere for a few hours, so I just decided to put some more baking soda on here just because I really wanted to test the method. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum it off. And there's still a stain, so that didn't work. Here are how the chairs look after doing water and vinegar, just one. The stain is definitely a lot lighter than, this is kind of the area where the water was. I think that the vinegar and water did a lot better. And then here is this stain that I use water and vinegar for. And I think it turned out a lot, I mean it looks a lot better, but I do need to go over it again. So I think I'm gonna go ahead 
and cover the whole chairs head to toe in water and vinegar again um, and then be right back guys look at these chairs i am honestly so impressed with how they turned out like there's basically like i like no stain right there and honestly look at this stain i know that it's still there a little bit but compared to before this looks great i think it works for what i was trying to accomplish so now i'm going to take some pictures of it and then put it on facebook marketplace and make sure that y'all comment down below how much you think i should list them for and that you like and subscribe so that you don't miss the rest of my flips have a tear or a stain make sure that you take a picture of it and put it on your listing for the next what's it called you should not what's the other thing